In this video, we are going to work through the index of qualitative variation, which as you'll recall, is the only measure of variability that you can use when you have nominal data. It's also very often used when you have ordinal data, but today we have nominal data. So here we have a frequency distribution measuring 1,000 people's response to the question, what is the worst airline? So this is nominal data because the categories, these categories here, are not numerical, right? You can't put them in any order and you can't subtract them for each, from each other. They are just categories, right? They're just different groups. One's United, one's Frontier, one's American, one's Delta, and one is Spirit. So to find the index of qualitative variation, we're gonna use this formula here. K, which is the number of categories, times 10,000 minus the sum of all percent squared divided by 10,000 times K, which is the number of categories, minus one. So what we're gonna need is a column in our frequency distribution that represents percent squared. So the first thing we need to do is make a column for percent. And that's gonna be pretty easy. Because we have 1,000 people, finding the percents is gonna be very simple. 200 divided by 1,000 is 20%. 550 divided by 1,000 is 55%. 40 divided by 1,000 is 4%, 10 divided by 1,000 is 1%, and 200 divided by 1,000 is, again, 20%. So there we go. We're done with our percent column. A way that we can check if we did the percent column right is by adding up all the values to see if they add up to 100. So let's do 20 plus 55, that's 75, 79, 80 and 100. So the total here is 100%, just like it should be. So we've done that column correctly. In the next column, we're just gonna square all of these. So the first thing we're gonna do is take 20 and we're gonna square it. So 20 times 20 is 400. Then we'll do the next one, which is 55 times 55, 3,025, okay? 4 times 4, 16, 1 times 1, 1, and 20 times 20 is 400. Now, each of these is one, one category's percent squared. In order to get this value here, the sum of percent squared, we have to add all of those up. So let's do that. 3,025 plus 400, plus 16, plus one, plus 400. That's 3,842, all right? Now, this number here is the sum of percent squared, right? Because we add it up, that's what this means, Sigma means add everything up in the percent squared column. So the sum of percent squared is 3,842. Now we can just simply plug our numbers into our formula. So the IQV equals K, which we have one, two, three, four, five categories. So K is five times 10,000 minus 3,842, 3,842 over 10,000 times five minus one, all right? So first we're gonna take 10,000 and subtract 3,842. We'll get 6,158. Okay, and we're gonna divide that 
by 10,000 times 4, right? Because 5 minus 1 is 4. So 5 times 6,158 is 30,790. And we're going to divide that by 10 times, 10,000 times 4, which is 40,000. That gives us an IQV of 0 0.77. So our IQV here is 0.77. And that tells us that in our data set, we have a moderate amount of, di of diversity. Because remember, the IQV will always be between 0 and 1, right? It's always going to be from 0 to 1, with 0 being no diversity. and one being the most diversity possible. If you, we really start having a decent amount of diversity starting at 0 0.7 for the IQV. This is moderate diversity. Okay. Between 0.7 and 1 is high diversity, or let's say 0.8 and 0.1 is high diversity. And below 0.5 is low diversity. And that's it. That's how you work through the index of qualitative variation. So I hope this was helpful. Happy practicing.